Oh my God, hi. Five. No, we were in it. No, no, no. Five. Oh my four, God. This three, is how it's going to be forever. Two. One. Go. Welcome to. Oh my God, hi. Oh my God. So I thought it was sweet that I was kissing you. And you just didn't take advantage of it so that the world was going to see it. But you know what? We're rolling with it. This is the real deal. This is it? This is it. So we used to be Common Threads, a podcast for men who like to sew. And knit. But. And crochet. And crochet. But we had a name change. We Mm -hmm. are now officially, might change, don't know. But for now, we are going to be. Fiber Hustle. Fiber Hustle. Fiber Hustle. We are going to hustle our fibers. (laughs) <laughs> no, uh, Common Threads was a cute name. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to think of... Cause but it was, a play on, it was a play on words. So we were saying Calm Men Threads. It was too you know, like cerebral. You had to think about it. Mm-hmm. And we're not calm. I'm not calm. So then all of a sudden, we're, I was on the bus, and I was reading something. I couldn't tell you what I was reading. But I, th- I saw the word hustle. And all of a sudden, I'm like, we both work with fibers. I text him. I say, hey, I got a new message. I mean, I got a new, what? So you texted me and it said, how about Fiber Hustle? Yeah, I got a new name. And when I get text messages from Chip that say something like that, I literally responded back and said, as a drag name or as a show name? Because I get probably five texts a week from him saying, Here's my new drag name I thought of. Don't make me get my computer because I have them written down. My favorite one that I've come up with is Winter Tires. Miss Winter Tires. Miss Winter Tires. But. um, So then, yes, a couple days ago, just sitting on the couch, he's like, how about we just change our name since we're not far into it? Yeah, because it's like common threads. It's like, eh, I'm not really interested in learning knitting. And you're not interested in learning sewing. No. So I don't see what's so common about that. I don't know. I, I don't know. And the only but the only hard part is going to be me changing the names on everything. But every week, I think our fan <laughs> every week will be okay with that. Our fan, hi fan, thank hi you. fan, thank you so much. Thank for you for in tuning again. in, watcher, and tell your friends. <laughs> okay, okay, so but speaking of drag names, oh okay. If you are behind the times and have not finished RuPaul's Drag Race, I'll start. Close your ears now. Earmuffs for like three seconds. What's it called? A spoiler. Spoil, spoiler. Spoiler. Which some of you probably don't care, but whatever. But if you're living under a pink rock, that's your Turn fault. around for like 10 seconds because she is your queen. Congratulations. We Trixie are Mattel. so thrilled that Trixie Mattel, well, leave her out. I mean, goddamn, she showed up to the, she showed up to the party. Now. We love her. Who was not. Who I, I just don't I mean Ben de la Creme, what the F. It happens. It happens. Like to just here, you've got straight A's. You've got the horizon. You've got it right in your grasp. It's so close. And you're like, peace, I'm out. Do what you do though. I understand. I get it. But we I mean like in all fairness, her other season, she never shown shined? Trixie. Yes. Shined. I thought she did. She made me chuckle. Ben? Oh, Ben. Ben made me chuckle as well. Ben was great, but not like, I mean, she freaking she worked it. dominated her and Shangela. I love Shangela. Now, going into this, I love Trixie, but since we went to DragCon last year, mm-hmm. we happened to stay in a, stay in a five hour line. We didn't know it was going to be that long, but we were in a five hour long line. Line trying to wait to see Miss Alyssa Edwards. Miss Alyssa Edwards, but that's a whole nother story. But just <laughs> just <laughs> next to her in the same house of Edwards was Shangela, looking all cute last year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the one thing, all all kidding aside, she was a workaholic. I mean, like you could tell Shangela's she was keeping her line moving. She was like, I mean, like I don't know how so we saw her for five hours nearby. And she just had so much energy. She did. So, go ahead. By the way, we are a knitting and a sewing podcast. Oh, God. <laughs> we okay, are so not, we could go, I could go We are this. not a RuPaul's Drag Race podcast. But Trixie, what did she, what did she do? 
she she won, and she we're won. very proud. We're very proud. Okay, that's so, what we've been doing the last two weeks. Is well, we've been crafting and crafting and watching this all the reruns because season ten's coming up. Yeah, and we watched. Uh, we watched a lot because they showed all the episodes back to back. All so. the episodes. And it's funny because it's like, oh, I forgot all about that. Yes. So congratulations, um, Trixie. And we're coming to see Shangela this year. Yeah. So, girl, if you're watching, backstage. <laughs> Passes, please. We kid, we kid. Okay. So, moving on. Other than that, what's new? Well, it looks like you're wearing something new. Oh. Chip, you made that? I made that and that. These are uh, exclusive Chip bow ties. Okay, so what it was, um, last year for Christmas, I was thinking about making bow ties for our friend's dogs. And she has two labs, and I was going to make her bow ties for both of them every month. And so I was thinking, oh, this would be cute for um, kind of spring, Easter and we made, I made that one, I made March ones, I made October ones, I made more formal. Yeah, she didn't like them. Rudeness. She said, I really, really like them, but I wish they had uh, elastic on them so it would be easy. And you know what? She's right. A dog, so, dog is going to try to get it off. So now me, so. I have all of these bow ties that I've spent... Hours making. No, I love all of them. This one is hateful. No, I, I like all of these. It's Madras. And it's for spring. That's one of my favorite Yeah, no, ones. I like this one. There's something about I like, that one. It's just, I mean, I love all your work, trust me, but... You don't like... You never liked the fabric when it came in. Yeah. I, but let's not focus on the negative. Look at all these positives. Yeah. So all of these were scraps, and that's what I love, because I didn't spend a dime extra on them. So, and all the hardware, AliExpress from China. Sometimes you got to get it the cheapest way you can. Man, so for, I think I spent like $3 and I got enough hardware for 100 bow ties. You cannot complain about that. It was about the same price as for one, no, two kits at Aunt Joanne's. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, AliExpress. <clears throat> And they even, they, they're really good. It takes a month to get here, but oh, no. it's still worth it. Yeah, about a month. So that's one thing that's new. Let me show what, uh, oh, let's go on the schedule. So we're, we're at, you, you made, made that. that. Okay. So what did you make? I made a few things this week. Okay. First, I'm still working, still working on this boneyard shaw made out of fingering weight yarn for chip. That's mine. Um, Actually, I'm that on my go good together. I know. I'm on my second. It looks like a giant diaper right now. The world's most expensive diaper. Actually, those Kardashian kids probably have some gold-plated diaper or something. But yeah, I'm still working on this. This again is made out of the Plus Yarn Company Cashmere Squeeze, and it is yummy. It is glorious, and I'm really in love with this. I'm really. Hopefully, I'll finish by the next time you see this, but. I think I'm, I'm traveling, I'm going to do a little traveling in April, so we'll see what happens. So, I finished from last time my Jason's Cashmere Hat, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. Ravelry. I'm uh, in love with this hat. And I got a few comments on it that some gentlemen at work actually want me to make them one. You just made that? Yeah. Oh. When did you make that? It was halfway done when the first we did our first podcast last time. So I finished it in like the last two weeks. But I think it fits really well. It looks good. This is made out of Cascade yarn, Cascade 220. And I think it's in the uh, gray heather color. And when I say think, it's right in front of me. It's actually the doe skin heather, which I am really happy with. Um, oh. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're good. Uh, like I said last time, if you have never tried cables before, <laughs> this, I'm just gonna wear it the rest of the show. This is the pattern to try. <laughs> okay, this is the pattern to try. 
I have just turned bright red too. Okay, this is the pattern dry. Jason Cash here at Hat on Ravelry. Give it a try. See what happens. I. <laughs> Made this. Uh, it seems like a lot of people have been making up. Uh... <laughs> Chip. <laughs> Chip, we can't do this. No, no. Hey, hey, go go. Seems like a lot of people have been making up. <laughs> Okay. So sorry. So, so sorry. So stupid. Uh, okay. All right. It's a fucking washcloth. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's an effing washcloth made out of sugar and cream in three different colors. That's nice. <laughs> I know. I can't do it. All right. We're back. We're back. We got it. Uh, sugar and cream, three different colors. So I did Capri Ombre. Uh, Rick Rack Ombre in Swimming Pool. So all I did was I went down back and forth um, just regular knit stitch for a garter stitch that did uh, back and forth one color then I switched to the other wait, color wait, wait. then switched what to the other What is a garter? A, a garter garter stitch is when you continuously do just knit. You knit the whole time. There's no pearls or anything in there. So this is just going sh 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 Yeah, sh okay. which I think it gave it a really cool effect because I think I started with the Capri Ombre at the top then I went to swimming pool, then alternate between them, then about here. Wait, wait, you mixed all those colors? Yes. Oh, I thought it came like together. Came no, no, together. no, 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 no. These are, this is three different uh, skeins or little cakes yeah. of sugar and cream. Gotcha. Again, Capri, Rick Rack, and swimming pool. So, nice. easy washcloth. What can you do? Okay, when you first started making those, I was kind of like, ooh. No, just because it's kind of like, but it's nice. It's actually nice. I, I will reach for those now. Good. Thank you. In the yeah. kitchen. The other yeah. ones are more, I do, uh, I think, uh, corner to corner with the little holes around them. I think I got the pattern from Stacy at Nitpicks. Nit Picks, not Nitpicks. Stacy, uh, just edit out that part because I don't remember what it is. But Stacy. And uh, this one I just did regular garter stitch all the way down. Okay. Cool. I made a new Mercer Muff. If you remember from last time, we whenever I make anything that is like this, we call it the Mercer Muff. This is just half double crochet and a couple of uh, single crochets. I myself will probably never wear this. So this is either going to go into maybe a gift pile. Sell, sell next uh, fall pile or to donate because I donate a lot of my stuff to the shelters downtown. and. If I'm going to donate stuff, why not be fashionable when you're nice? Just not, you know. Well, it's, it's yeah. nice because you don't, I mean, you can just, and it folds nice underneath your jacket or you yeah. can have it out. I like the way it looks. This is actually made out of facets, loops, and threads from Michaels, and the colorway have is Have you washed this? Ruby. I have not. I just finished it like two days ago. Yeah, it's not bad. And uh, yeah, just all good old loops and threads. And if you notice, does anyone else do this? I write the price. The regular price and what I actually get it at, get it at, and pay for. So this was regular five ninety nine. There's a two ninety nine clearance sticker on it, and because of a discount, I got it through two sixty six. So I write all that down on all my labels for some reason. I think just because if I ever do sell them, it's right there, and I don't have to do any math and all that good stuff. Well, yeah. You know, are, math, are you but... keeping a journal though? Yes, I have an Excel spreadsheet of everything I make. Well, at least my Mercer Muffs. Yeah. I think I've made 150 over the last no. year and a half. Yeah. Wow. It's ridiculous. And I think that is it for what are you making? Well, I, what am I making? Well, I thought you made bow ties. I made bow ties, but oh, still working on the quilt. And it's actually this, this quilt, uh, but I chose my other colors. Oh, sorry. This was... You made that? Yes. My so... Bad. 
all of the Again. piecings together. I've sandwiched it. So we've got the layers going. And now I've begun the quilting. And it's been interesting because it is a it's a large It's um, looking amazing. It looks good. And I don't I don't want to show it off just yet, just because um I want the big reveal. But I'm trying to find what the size was. Of your quilt? Of my quilt. It's like 70 by something, I thought, but maybe I'm way off. No, it is... I should have had it already. Um, 54 by 72. And so, like, I have a domestic um, sewing machine, and... I'm sorry, what does that mean, domestic sewing machine? It's not industrial, and it's not, okay. like, it's not a quilting machine. I wasn't aware, that's why I asked. Yeah, so, and it's... I think it's still considered a, a featherweight, like they'll they'll refer to a featherweight. So I only have so much uh, throat space. Mm -hmm. So that's where you have your working space, you have the needle, and then you have the space. So it's been a challenge. So I'm quilting, and now I've finished quilting all of the the really dark pieces. I've um, I've made a design. But now I'm looking for other things that I could possibly design. And I've got a really nice book. It is Ruler Work Quilting. It's an idea book. And the beautiful thing is that they actually, oops, they talk about using Bernina. Can you see it? Let me do it here. Bernina acrylic rulers. So this is for quilting. And so you've got the straight, You have, and I'm going to go back to my math. I think these are concentric circles. No. Oh. I think they might be. Eccentric circles. No, concentric. Oh, oh and that's not that's right funny. because concentric means that they're they're touching. These are inner, they're, I don't know what the word is for it, but they're, they're circles. Nested. We'll just go with nested. But you have all of these rulers, so I could do circles. I could do... Reminds me of a bat. Waves. Oh, or waves. And then there's little ones. So, like, all of this, I'm trying to decide. Like, I have elliptic. And then there's... This one looks reminds me of, like, a, a dog bone. Can you see it? Yeah. There so, is. there's all of these rulers. And this book will actually show me... Hey, there is some... Fancy dancy ideas that you could. It shows you how to use the rulers. And like it gives nice. you all kinds of ideas of what you could put in your quilt. And like right now, all I've done is. And last week, he spent three hours ripping one of them out. Yes, because one of them went I really, just really, really bad. Gone on. And. Yeah, so like I was doing free mo motion quilting and it was my first time and it really, I learned a lot. So when I finally get to show off the quilt, I will show and explain what I've learned. I'm excited for it to be finished. It's yeah. going to be awesome. So I think that's what I've got for what are you making? What are you making? So let's get into had to have it. Had to have it? Had to have it. These are things that we've passed, then went back and got, or we added things to our cart and all that good stuff. Okay, I have three things. What do you have? I have a few things. So I was out in West Seattle probably yeah, a couple of weeks ago, and I stopped by this uh, one place, and I got some Malabrigo yarn, and I was going to make a quilt. Not a quilt. I'm still in your section. I was going to make a uh, shawl out of these three, but now I don't, they go together, but I think I need a pop of something. So these are all Rios. This one is Pearl 10. You can't see it for some reason because of the light in here at the moment. The lights went down and it got dark, which is kind of a blackish purple now that I look at it. I'm really into this gold color for some reason right now. And this is Frank. What's that word? Ochre. Ochre? Uh, what's ochre mean? Ochre. Isn't ochre? Okay. No. 
Ochre. O C H E R. Ochre. I don't think I've ever seen that word in my life. Ochre. Uh, computer, what does ochre mean? As a noun, ochre is usually defined as any of various earths containing silica and alumina and ferric oxide, used as a pigment or, alternatively, a modern yellow orange to orange color. As an adjective, Okay. Computer stop. We get it. Thanks. Uh, and then I have a sandstorm. So I'm going to try to do something with these three. I need to find another color that kind of complements okay, so them as well. If I get a vote, which I probably don't, these two I really, really love. And I almost think like you could afford to have some green in here. I can do that. But I feel like this one, I feel like I see some of this ochre color <laughs> in there and that's why i thought about it and one thing the lady at uh the yarn store said she was super nice i go i'm gonna do these three together and she actually kind of unhanked them and put three of them together on her arms because this is the best way to look at that kind of stuff oh the, they're gonna appreciate yeah. you doing that yeah which no which i would do right now like this with the other ones yeah but you but, can't go in a store and do that yeah you can because you just put it back but i really no. don't know how to put it back yet because I need to I know people do this and then am I going to do it? Close enough. Hey, that was pretty good. But yeah, so she did all three. She goes, that's the best way to get it. Yeah, they don't mind. They don't mind. So what? Who cares? You should ask. Well, okay. And then, uh, speaking of pops, this is a color that for some reason I've been attracted to and I don't know why you recently because I usually hate it. I don't even know if you've seen this yet. No, I haven't. This is the Periwinkle Sheep, and the uh, color is Canary. And I am shocked because I, I, lo I love color. I don't want to be afraid of color this year. So I'm going to get my color on because it's, I don't know uh, it's what happened to you. Because it's the year of the fiber hustle. I, I guess you are. And this is a 7525. When people say that, I'm like, tell me what that actually means. I, mean, I got to read it back. So it is 75 Superwash Merino and. Uh, 25 nylon so it's a uh, i ordered i have some uh, fingering weight coming i hate working with fingering weight except for when you double it up periwinkle so sheep. i'm going to try to do something like that and the best thing about it it was in the clearance section clearance yes i first place i go anywhere i go is the clearance section because that's that's just the way i am two more things I well wait a, wait what are you pairing this with Nothing yet because the other items haven't arrived. I did my first knit oh. picks order, so I'm hoping that will kind of pow give it a little. No, bit. I really do. I like the. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more. I like color. Not so sullen colored this year and whatever. Here's another Malabrigo, which was on uh, discount, and this one the colorway is zero five one, VAA. I guess somebody ran out what? of. That's the color. I guess somebody ran out of ideas, ideas there. But it's kind of a greenish, really dark greenish blue. Just dark. It's dark. Just like There's a green. knot in the scheme. Yes, that's why it was discounted. I'm all right with that. I'm going to try to work around that knot. I mean, this might be a lesson learned, but it does say knot in scheme. That's why the discount is happening. That's interesting. How would they know? I'm not sure either. They said unless, they could just tell. Unless the manufacturer. Unless they did the well, the thing and saw it in there somehow. Like saying, look to the retailer, hey, we're going to give you a deal. Yeah. I don't, I don't know then, how they figured that out. But And so what colors are this? This has got green, blue. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, gonna to work around that. And again, this might be a lesson learned. Anything that ever says not in skein, I won't buy again. Or I'll be like, all I did was cut it out, and I'm totally good now. The last thing I purchased is this, what is it? Anzula, and it's hand-dyed yarn. And this is in the colorway of Esto. It doesn't tell me what it is, but it looks more like a light worsted or DK. And it's 50% superwash merino and 50% Tusa. No, to, to, to. you're what you call a reader. <laughs> T U S S A H silk. Where is that? Oh, Tussa. 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 
I don't know. Tessa. All these words are new to me. But yeah, I liked it. It's pesto. Only one of it, the, the colors aren't coming out. It's, it's really cute. It's looking more minty right now in the monitor at least. But think of a pesto color. But I think this would make a very nice hat because I love knitting hats. Now, are these, they oh, don't go together? No, 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 no. But other than that, that's all I have. So look at that yellow. It's just bam, bam, chip. Oh, what did you have to have? Add to cart because I got mine from Amazon. Oh. All right. So I got two patterns. And actually, I'm, these all go in a Ziploc bag, so I don't like these. I hate these. The, the packaging? The packaging, because like they always come from the bottom, and they've got this glue. And then when you're... I like to take care of my patterns, so they always go in some kind of plastic. I don't leave them loose. And then when you're trying to get them back, you just... They stick to the thing. They're ripped, yeah. See ya. See ya. See ya. Okay, so actually, both patterns are by Allison Glass, and these are paper pattern... Uh, I'm sorry, paper piecing patterns easy here open this one yes first one is i forget what this one's called it's called spectrum and i liked it just because i didn't have to design anything it's already done for me this will create a 50 by i'm sorry 57 by 60 um or an 84 by 90 which is a queen size and one thing i learned from the other uh, the other quote that I'm working on now is that at the end of the day with these with these paper patterns I can't show too much but like they come out with I can't show the instructions like they'll give you an idea of what to do and that's just a starting point so like I've already noticed in my um, in my one that hey what if I do this and this and I rearrange the order and start mirroring things like these 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 seemed like they're only going for one one look, but at the end of the day, you can have as many looks as you want. And then on top of it, when you're adding your solids, your patterns, and your fabric, it completely changes the look. So Allison Glass, we have the one I showed you, Spectrum, and then the other one is called Prism. I like this one. Yeah. So I don't know why I'm so into colors right now. And just because I'm showing it's these, been gross out. I think so. Yeah, I mean, like We're I'm ready for spring. You got the cabin fever. For... The times change. Just yep. So over it. then the second thing you got from me, and like it, I've already been using it, and it's a mini mini iron that friggin' rocks. What's weird is I was gonna get this iron f for Christmas, and then we talked about it. Like after Christmas, I didn't get it for him. He goes, I don't know if I want anything like that. Then we brought it up again like two weeks ago. And then, sorry, I came out looking. Who is this? Brought it two weeks ago. And they're like, oh, we wish we had that. Literally, for some reason, I got an email the next day that says, this is discounted like 40% or something. I, I, and I was like, I think Alexa's listening to us. Oh. Hmm. That's okay. Maybe that's <laughs> why Trixie won. <gasps> So, <laughs> yeah. No, it just freaked me out because I'm like, we were just talking about this yesterday. It says this iron is, but of course I was looking but it was at a it deal. the day before. So yeah, it was a deal. It and was like what, $18? Yeah, 18 something. And it's I think usually the like regular, 25? Yeah. But I will say, one of the things that I've learned, lessons learned, this is going to be a pro tip, is that you cannot iron enough. And you don't necessarily need a huge iron. You just need one that works. And it's like, with especially with paper piecing, every step you know, like you do something, you need to iron. You do something, yeah. you need to iron. And this is really nice because it's not this big clunky thing. I only have so much room to work with. And so this has been perfect. So thank you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy so, it. No, and it's my favorite color. Yeah. Green. Gray and green are his thing. Yeah, I. that's been for a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. So... Get yourself one. This one's called Steam Steam Fast. We'll have a link on Amazon uh, that you can visit. All right. What's next? Is that all you had to have? I think so. Because I see a lot more packages that come to the door. Slowly. Slowly. All uh right. -huh. Those are for future things. <laughs> okay. So and there's a couple more coming. What are you making? What am I making? Okay. So you know I'm making the... 
The quilt? Yes. Okay, so... I'm so excited for you to be finished with. Yeah, wait, wait. We have, what are you making? Yeah. No, the next thing is... Me knit... <laughs> me knit purdy. What is it? Me knit purdy someday. And mine is going to be me so purdy someday. Okay, so... Me me knit purdy someday <laughs> is a new segment because we've had two whole shows. It's just things that I want to do. And I have not done a sweater yet or a cardigan. So I'm kind of afraid to get out of the kiddie pool and jump into the danger zone. No, let's just talk about this. This print, the printer in the house has been going off the freaking chain, off the hook. I can't be the only one that does this. So I can't look at patterns on my iPad or on the computer. So everything I have, I print out. Yes, you do. But I keep but, them wait, wait, in. Wait, wait, wait. And I will say, he replaces the ink. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you've been very good about it. Yeah, yeah, that. And I replace the paper. Um, so all right, this is my hat book, which one of my sweaters is in there. So like, these are all the hats that some of them I made, some of them I haven't made. No, this is whatever. ideation inspiration. I need some inspiration. So I think my first sweater I'm going to attempt to make is the flax sweater. I found this on Ravelry. Here's what it looks like. Some of you may have knitted it Oh my God, what is her deal? Look at, what is no, that? No. Why is she upset? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things. I don't know why. Why is she upset? upset? Why? Because, okay, this, she, she this not... section is about gauging. So she's sad because look at her sleeves. We'll show and look, everybody. Look at her sleeves and neckline. You guys, come so on. Basically, this is telling you that it's very important to gauge, so you want your sweater to come Her out. Her okay. pretty so, or pretty someday. <laughs> she's probably, you know what? This is probably staged because she's probably a suit. I like her little. We're going to have to write her a little. I'm sorry. I know. I'm there sorry. She, the sweater's cool. I would wear it. It's got. No, you know what? It's got 90s. It's kind of 90s. Did baggy. you ever watch the episode of the Huxtables, the Cosby show? When Denise knitted or Denise <laughs> made the shirt for Theo Huxtable, the Gordon Card Trail. It was a Gordon Card Trail shirt. Look. Go back to the Cosby Show. Maybe you can find it on YouTube. Denise and made a Theo. I can try to find it, but this kind of reminds me of it. But anyways, that I'm gonna try this. Staged. I'm gonna try this flax sweater because what I love about it stop, is stop jiggling it. I'm sorry. Is the directions are amazing. And they detail everything, and they give you pictures like, here's where the sleeve's going to be, here's where the so back's going to be. What this is a free pattern. That's why I'm showing this. Up no, here. but what makes a good, amazing directions to you? Um, because it's breaking it down as a beginner. I love simple directions and everything like that, but this is actually breaking it down. So it's showing me what steps I'm going to come to and maybe what it should look like. Are they just like how oh, to so do they a, draw them? Yeah, well not draw them, but the pictures of like how to do an armhole and maybe what it will look like. And then once you get the yoke and the body done, I mean, I think this will be very helpful because I'm reading some directions now and I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. So that's so, a that's a pain point. And that's yeah. what, something that you and I are both sensitive to. Mm -hmm. And like these are things that we could guide other people to. Like, hey, not only is this a kick-ass uh, design or a pattern, but yeah. it's it's communicated well. Because yeah. you don't want to spend 10 hours picking out, like you and I are picky on trying to pick out our fibers. Mm -hmm. Fiber hustle. But we're, we're picky when it comes to picking out what we're going to our materials. And then all of a sudden, you don't want to get trapped into some kind of design that you're gonna go nowhere. Yeah, I think, and I think this is attractive enough design that I'm gonna wear. My goals down the road are the Stephen West Marled Mania sweater, which is holding, I think it's two is that the, the Is that the one that's all It's all the rage colors? Right now. Yeah, it's like starts up with like one solid color, then it kind of goes into crazy colors. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of sweaters I wanna do, and there's like, I'm a cardigan person through and through, and I'm, that's one of my goals. Why don't you do I that wish one I, next? I know. I wish I had a neighbor who was a knitter who could help me and guide me through this. When you but get stuck. of course, there are your local yarn stores. Every time I walk in there and I say, I'm looking for this, like, oh, we can totally help you and stuff like that. But they're just, they're close enough, but just a, just a bit out of reach to make it there at certain times of day. And 
mm. all that good stuff. So this is for my mean it purdy someday. That's your mean it. Is that something you're gonna do next? I think I'm. A, I think I'm gonna. What do they call it? Cowboy up and try it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is. All right. So wait, 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 y'all. Is he making the commitment? Is this the next one? Yeah, I mean the commitment. There you go. For what? That's all we needed. For 2018 or? No, next. Okay. Yeah, I need to find the right. That's what me yeah, Nick right Purdy someday. Someday is next as the next one. Okay. 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 <laughs> so much pressure now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let, let me talk about what me so Purdy next. No, me me so Purdy someday. All right, so love it. I'm really, really into colors. I don't know what it is, but bam, that's a lot of color. And it's the Jelly Quits Quilts uh, is the, the I think it's, it's her Etsy page that she um, made this design, and it's actually based on a postcard that she saw over at um, IKEA. Hmm. So she. Here's this postcard, and so she bought the postcard, and then she made this this pattern, and then she used I think like 36 different fabrics from Kona uh, 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 something Kaufman Robert Kaufman yeah Robert Kaufman Kona fabrics I'm probably getting this all wrong I'm tired but anyway 36 different fabrics I ordered two kits because I'm gonna make this for our bed. And it's a king size bed. So I have been doing 1,500 triangles that I've been cutting. And I've been using the, the lifesaver. The lifesaver. This is the, where's the, the front? Oh, here it is. So I use the Go Cube um, by AccuQuilt. And this is perfect because in her directions, she has nothing to do with the Go Cube people. I have nothing to do with the Go Cube people. But we're looking for four inch square, thinner square blocks, which this is what this will do. You could do five inch square blocks and make the blocks each bigger, but this is the kit that I have. So what we're looking at is the dies, and it's in this one, in its own little library. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. So in the library, you have your, did I pull out the wrong one? No, here it is. So it's the number three die, number three, I know you can't see that, um, but it's the rectangle, I'm sorry, it's the square block and it makes the half square triangle. This will end up to an exact two inch, I'm sorry, four inch triangle so for people that are knitters out there watching this, basically what this is, instead of instead you of cutting, cutting, you put this through a contraption machine and it goes yes. and cuts them in the place of those like a triangle, which you just showed. Yeah, if you look up on AccuQuilt.com, I have the Go Big. Um, it is magic. It is magic. And I still, I have, I have about 1,500 triangles in every color under the sun there's 36 different colors how long would this have taken to cut these out by hand if I you didn't have, have this no clue because you know this took me probably four hours yeah it took me about four hours to cut i mean like perfect 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 triangles each one like all right, so we're sitting there like, oh, that turns. This is it's actually red in person. It's coming up more like a magenta. It's the same magenta, but that's pomegranate. There's bluegrass. I like how organized you are now. Oh, it, it's on. So like, when I know it's asking me for the color number and then what the color is, all I have to do is match it up. So <clears throat> this is going to make um, the piecing just like. Bam, come together. And really what I'm learning is I really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. The quilting is what I'm starting to get more acquainted with. I'm excited for this one as well. Yeah. So like just as an example, so you have all of the um, 
you have all of the color numbers. And imagine I have to do this by two. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Because they're like this is just for the one size. Yeah. I'm doing it for like double. Yeah. So fifteen hundred. Oh, and the and the, well, best. the end results can be awesome. So what was interesting is that this pat this particular pattern, she recommends <clears throat> you have a you have your quarter inch block. What's the matter? Nothing. Oh. Yeah, she um she recommends per quarter I'm sorry, um fat quarter, mm -hmm. you should be able to get twelve four inch blocks. Which yeah. Yeah. she was exactly right. But what was interesting is that uh, how much extra there was. Like I have all of this, all of this extra fabric that I, it's like still left I can use. You can make fabric confetti. Well, no, I have fabric confetti. That was just the, the scraps that were left. But like I can make other projects out of this, which I'm gonna hold that thought because that's gonna turn into my me so purdy someday someday. Okay. I've got uh, a next one, <clears throat> but the I just wanted to, I, I just wanted to mention with the um, the go cube with the go um, the go big machine when it's cutting all of that a lot one of the things a lot of people are nervous is about the waste mm -hmm. like oh my gosh you're gonna you're gonna waste so much fabric using that I'm telling you. It's just no more than what you would ordinarily have. It's just a sliver. And what's fun is that you've got this confetti that's left. So, like, I didn't throw away because who knows what I could do with it someday. Our next episode, we're going to drop it from the ceiling. No, I was going to make a wig out of it. <laughs> no, it's, it's just so much fun. Right? There you go. Oh, Seahawks. It I know. Is very, it's very... Yeah, so, but that was the, I mean, like, it was like, bam, 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 and it really was easy, and it was gratifying, because there was an, out of 1,500 triangles, I didn't mess up one, Good. It, it was that easy. Now, the only drawback that I could even possibly say about using this, if, if it is one, is that it's not always, like, boom, you put it through the machine, and you have... Two perfect triangles because you're actually cutting, you're actually cutting six layers. So with six layers, you're getting twelve triangles. So it was a time saver. But every now and then, when, when you, I don't know if you've ever had, yeah, you've cut stuff with me with the with the rotary. Mm -hmm. There's these little snags that didn't cut. Yeah, and then every now and then there is that. Okay. So I would have to go back, but I mean, so it's not perfect. But it's not. Um, it's not like perfect, but it's pretty damn close. Okay. All right. So now, that's the, that's the. Uh, this is the me so purdy someday. So after I'm finished this quilt, I'm sorry, the current quilt, I'm going to work on this. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, when I'm not working on that, I have my next thing. So, I already have an idea of what I could use some of this for. I'll put it up here because it's so colorful. Um, there is, in my improvising tradition, this is another quilt book. Okay. Uh, I showed it last time. But they yeah. have these coasters, and I thought those would be so freaking cute to make. And pretty, I could bang those out. Those are cool. Yeah, and so just use some color. Because we have these other ones that I don't like. They need to be updated. They need to be updated. We'll they're, they're just ugly. Yeah, we'll say it. So that's all for me so purdy someday. <laughs> me so purdy someday. I only have one. What are you making? Hold on. I want to put my bag back. What bag? This bag. I don't like a mess. Oh. <laughs> Shall the, you wait? He's the clean one. I'm the messy one. Hold on. I'm almost done. Because we'll get it out of the way. Here you go. I'll look pretty for everyone. All right. Done? Almost. All right. Okay. Cool. 
So for my what are you making, I only have one thing, I think. And I don't even know if I'm super jazzed about it or not. So it was a couple, probably about four days ago, a Tuesday or something, I don't know. I was just sitting there and I was like, I want to make something, but I didn't want to work on the Boneyard Jaw because I just need to take a break from something. So I know is that, that my... Yes, that yeah. is yours. So I know uh, the Sweet Tea No Shade gentlemen, they have a podcast and they're doing a cow cow knit along for a cow cow yes so a k-a-l then c-o-w-l oh i thought it was so a a cow knit moo. no not a moo 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 which they should change it to that i thought it was like moo cow no like it's black and white no oh. so they're doing a cow cow knit along so basically you can knit any uh cow uh, that you want, and I found here's the it's like an example of the wrong yarn, maybe the right project. So I am doing this getting warmer. It's a free pattern pattern on Ravelry, designed by Melissa Clulo. I think that's right. C L U L O W. Clulo cow cow. <laughs> yes, exactly. So it looks like this, and the suggestion was a chunkier yarn. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I had some just yarn just staring at me it is yarn from michael's and it's the charcoal colors the sort of loops and threads chunky and i started it but what's wrong with it i just don't know if i'm in love with it yet why that i don't know which is the know. top this so this is gonna i don't think i can here here it comes okay not that bad not as bad so i don't think i can get my head through here but this is gonna be yes you can oh oh <gasps> that it's all right. I can put it back in. Oh, that's why I learned. So it's supposed to go over your shoulders, and then it's gonna. It looks very eccentric right now. So it's gonna. I it's think, giving it, me life. It's, it is looking a little runway. Actually, maybe I do love it. Maybe it's fun. But yeah, it's maybe it's fun. But I really like the yarn. Can you try it. Well, let's not rip it all out. Can we put that on? Hey, you took it off. I know, but now I'm freaking out. Well, maybe you put it on tighter. Okay. With, Okay. Okay. Be fair. We're just gonna put it here. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I I can just see everything going, shh, shh, and then I'll have to start all over. Okay. Did this is, already? Yes, I know. But I didn't do. We're that. breathing. We've all been there before. We take deep you breaths. Have to show us how to fix it. We say a prayer. We say some cuss words, and we do it. Okay. But I really love that the yarn that this person used in the example. It is nice. so. I was kind of hoping for that, but you know what? I'm trying it with this acrylic yarn and we'll see what happens which actually feels pretty soft i'm not a yarn snob i use acrylic i use anything else yeah yeah you always say I that do, well yeah whatever so yeah that is what i'm making right now i'm doing this sweet tea no shade podcast two great guys uh doing their great cow guys? cow they're great guys from, great guys i definitely met them but they seem like nice gentlemen mm -hmm. from minnesota and that's all I'm working on right now, so maybe that will be if I don't throw it out the window from dropping those stitches just now. I think I'm gonna be ready for next time. Okay. Chip. Yes, sir. What are you making? We already did that. I'm making. Yeah, but you're making the quilt. I didn't know if you had anything else. So. No, that's all I got. <clears throat> all right. You want more, but I ain't got it. I yeah. So hopefully we'll have more next time. Not more, but. So remember, it's. Fabric Hustle. No, it's Fiber Hustle. Fiber Hustle. We've changed our name to Fiber Hustle. We're fiber Hustle. See if this one, I think this one's going to stick. If we can remember it. Yeah. You I couldn't can, remember I it can, all day. I can see the merch already. Fiber Hustle and some... Okay, so you know, I was... Disco... I'm, no. Slash... I was thinking like machine. how the Tasmanian devil goes like this, and all of a sudden it becomes a hat. It becomes a quilt. It becomes... And it's, it's a hustle. It's a fiber hustle. Only if we can combine our two powers someday to make one extravagant thing. You are all bundled up in a hat and scarf with mittens underneath a quilt. A quilt jacket. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know. Oh, well, wait. Madras. It could be out of something like no. this. Oh, God, that's hateful. No. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not... It's not hateful. Those colors to me are hateful. Okay. All right. Just this one. Okay. Say goodbye, Aaron. 
Oh my God, goodbye, and thank you for watching. Good job. Oh my God, bye. Bye.